guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. Today's video is something a little different. It's all about products that I tried this month. I do have several of these videos up on my channel. I call them my throw and shade videos. So let's see what products I tried out for the month of January. All right, you guys, so I know before we get started, I'm serving y'all a look, but you know it's almost time for Valentine's Day, so I'm, you know, just giving y'all a little bit of V-Day slay. Um, if you like this hair, I do have a tutorial up on my channel. Um, this is a braidless crochet. I'll leave a link right here so you can check out this hair tutorial. If you like this dress, I do have a Valentine's Day clothing haul coming for you guys, and it should be out in the next day or two, so make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you never miss a new upload and you can check out the haul for Valentine's Day. You guys, so let's jump right in. I don't want this video to be too long, although I feel like these videos are always long AF, but I do have some bomb products that I want to show you guys and some products that were a little bit of a dud. So there will be a little bit of shade being thrown in this video. So let's start off with my favorite product. This product is by Morslin. It was sent to me and this is a um, facial scrubber. It, the shape of it is very, very different from the normal face scrubbers that I've seen. Most of them just have like a long shaft and then they have a circular spinning disc that you can change out and use different discs for, you know, to clean your skin. This one is not like that. The whole entire thing is silicone and the brush brushes are literally connected to face scrubber. It has different settings. So this is the on switch and it vibrates while you cleanse your skin. So you go ahead and apply your facial wash here. You can change how fast it goes or how slow it goes by pressing these dials. And then you can also turn it off the same way. This one is really bomb because it doesn't require batteries. You literally just plug in the adapter and you can plug it into your laptop or wherever it's a USB or you can charge it in the wall. So this is really, really bomb. I do feel a difference in my skin when I use this. I know it looks like a vibrator. It's not a just get your mind out the gutter. It's not a vibrator. But um, my skin feels really, really great when I use this. And um, I really, really like it. So that was an unexpected win for a product that was sent to me. To me, And this product I already knew I would love. This is called Topic. And this is to help build fibers in your hair. So if you have a thinning hairline or you just want more coverage, it works really, really well with wigs. And I really do like this product. So this is the comb that mimics the hairline. So you literally place this on your hairline and it mimics, you know, the shape of what hair would look like. So then when you go ahead and take this out, screw this on and puff it onto your hair, like you literally just like blow it onto your hair, it will create that hairline and give you more, you know, coverage along your hairline. This product comes in several different colors and it's washable. You just wash it right out. So I knew I would like that. I've used it before in the past and um, I will definitely do a full blown tutorial on that product. But Topic is definitely bomb. Two products that um, I did try out this month. Well, one is a brand new product for me, but another is like a staple in my makeup routine. The first is the Sasha Fix It Spray. Now this I didn't know that they had, um, but their Buttercup powder is one that I love. It's a staple. I use it every single time I do my makeup. It's their um, Buttercup Colored Setting Powder and I do mix it with my NYX Mineral Powder because this powder is a little too light for me. Um, but when I mix the Sasha Buttercup with that powder, it makes the perfect shade and I actually did use it to set my under eye today as well. So that's how I got that sort of illuminated look on my under eye. This is their Fix It Spray. I did use this today. Day. I will say that the spray does work, but the smell is not good. You guys, I hate the smell of this product. I just wish it had no odor at all. The odor that it has, it smells like a combination of like, it kind of smells like auto parts. 
I don't know if it's the can itself, but it smells kind of like auto parts when you spray it. Um, now, does the smell last? No, it goes right away. But while you're spraying your face, you are smelling that smell, that fragrance, and I really don't like it. Um, so for me, the Sasha Fix It spray is a hard pass. This is a product that was sent to me as well. I did not use these products because um, these products were the wrong color for my hair. My my hair is dark brown and I, well, it's actually closer to black. And the color that I got is dark brown in a number two. That was the darkest shade that was available. So first off, like I'm kind of giving y'all the side eye, like the darkest shade that's available is a number two. Like some people's hair is jet black. Why are you only offering a number two? So um, that was not cool to me. And um, yeah, so I just wasn't able to use this product at all. This is by X this is by Press On Hair. It's an extensions kit. They give you a bun. I'll take it out the bag so you can see. So this is what the bun looks like. As you can see, the hair color is just so far off from my own. Um, and then here are the extensions. They are clip-in hair extensions, so you know you can clip them in. I guess if I had a wig that was this color, I could use it. But like straight off the bat, I just knew I was not going to be able to use this. But maybe if I had a wig that was like a color number. To me, this is not a number two. To me, this is a color number four. If I had a wig that was straight and not yakky, that was a silky texture, I could clip these extensions into it and definitely make the wig fuller. But um, as it is, I was not able to use this product at all. And I honestly don't believe this product is um, black girl friendly. I'll just be honest. Like looking at the packaging and looking at the models that they chose, I'm just giving it the side eye slightly. So um, this one did not work for me. Throwing shade on press on hair. <laughs> <laughs> and the last product I want to show you guys is one that I'm not sure you'll be able to get, but it is a staple for me in the winter time. This is a body butter that I do get from my nail salon. I pay $10 for this container and, um... It's a really, really nice body butter. They use it for like hand massages in the nail salon. But if I can't find it online, I will definitely try to find it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. It has an amazing smell. It is the milk and honey combination. They do have several other fragrances, but this is my favorite. I love it. It makes your skin feel so hydrated and luxurious. It's just a treat every time I use it. I'm a strong proponent in like having nice lotions and fragrances when you're trying to treat yourself so if I'm taking a nice long hot shower I put the kids to bed and everybody sleep sometimes I'll just use this and it's just awesome like I said it I find it at my nail salon where I get my nails done oh let me show you guys my new nails so I just got my nails done this is some new technique that they do it's like some um technique if you follow me on snapchat you will have seen it I always snap when I get my nails done so my snapchat is just the dragon that's only one s at the end so you guys that is the end of my throwing shade video i did throw a little shade not too much hopefully um if you guys have questions definitely leave them in the comment section down below if you guys want me to try out some products and you want to know what i think about them definitely leave those down there too and i will try to get these videos out at least once a month um from here on out all right you guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time